Well, I'm pretty pleased to be here. Um, the president of my union, the RMT, will be speaking this afternoon. So I won't be going on about too much what the RMT thinks, but I think you get the idea. Last year, we voted to um, campaign to get out of the European Union. And of course, that made us very popular with the TUC. And um, nevertheless, this year, last month, we went to the TUC with a motion about an Indian trade agreement that the EU is, is trying to push through. Um, and I want to go on to that later on, uh, uh, the question of work, which hasn't really been raised this morning uh, and this afternoon, I hope it will be this afternoon, um, about the question of work and how we get out of this terrible situation we're in. Now, I was listening to the debate this morning, and I know Mark Littlewood, he's a nice fella and all that, but um, I have to say, when he comes across and tells us how terrible the EU is, but it's going to get better sometime in the future, you know, at least he's been honest, but actually, he believes in world government, and that's what we're talking about. People, the Federalists, they believe in world government. You want to know what world government looks like? It looks a lot like the European Union, but worse. And, uh, and I think that we should be honest and get out there and start telling people uh, the truth, because we have been duped by all the leaders of all our organisations, from the trade union movement through to the Tory party, through to the Labour party. The political class is uniting um, in favour of the European Union against working people. And that is the nature of the European Union. It's a corporate beast, and it doesn't believe in democracy. And Dan Hannan, another good friend of mine, who's speaking this morning, he talks about democracy, and it's a great speech he made, and he mentioned the Chartists. The Chartists were trade unionists, and I just wish there was more trade unionists here today, because without trade unions, there would be no democracy in this country. And that, that, that has to be realised by all of us. Trade unions are not the enemy. The, the, uh, the enemy is our political establishment that hate trade unions and the media uh, portrays us as evil people, that they must be put down, there must be laws against us and all the rest of it. But we are a part of the democratic part of this country and we, we, we have a right to have a political voice. And uh, that political voice is being stullied by all the political establishment. And I want to get back to this Indian trade agreement and I want to pay tribute to <coughs> Linda Coucher who alone has been campaigning on this issue. In December, the EU is going to sign off an Indian trade deal which will mean Indian workers will be imported to this country to work on Indian wages in highly skilled jobs. And there's a lot more Indian graduates than there is British graduates. There are a million unemployed uh, people from 16 to 24 not in, not in work, not in education. What's the impact of this deal is going to have on, on, on our workers, on, on this country? Anyone in this room ever heard of Mode 4? One person. Mode 4 is the mechanism that the, ET, that the WTO and the European Union are using to not only the free movement of labour in Europe, the free movement of labour around the world, where corporate capital can bring in third world workers on third world wages and we're expected to, comp to compete with them. And I don't want to hear anyone this morning telling me this is not a crisis of capitalism. Capitalism is his problem. That is the problem that's driving this. It's not just the banks. The banks is capitalism. The EU is capitalism. And we have to face up to that fact from the left and the right. And we should all agree that corporate power is out of control. And what they want to do is return us to pre-medieval uh, pre concepts of power where the bishop and the king rules and no one knows where power is and democracy is no part of it. They are, they are, they are, they are post-rationalists, they are anti-rationalists, they're anti-enlightenment, and they want to drag us back, back before the French Revolution, before the English Revolution, when we are, we are mere serfs. And we have to get that message across, because that will, that will, uh, that will ring bells beyond the left and right. It's beyond that now. We are, we, are, we are British people, we are workers, and we have to unite on the basis of common understanding, not that the trade unions are the enemy, but... The corporate power is the enemy. Thank you very much.